Uh, that's what I get for just randomly clicking things. Oh god, what did I do? Oh, we're starting a fight with this entire town, I think. Oh, here we go. Critically hit for one. Got knocked over. Guys, I could use some help. Ow. Ow. Sequence not working when knocked over. Am I passed out or something? Did that critical hit for one really fuck me up that bad? Oh god, this isn't good. Okay, good. We're back up. We're back up. Open the door. Get to the other side of the door. They'll have to come at me just one at a time. And... That should be okay right there, I think. She moves in and she's unarmed. Good. If anybody's blocking the door, I'd rather it be somebody who's unarmed. Vic is over there just one-on-one -on -one against Smiley. Use your knife, Vic. Use it better, Vic. Oops, not character. Inventory. I do have a shotgun, so... Wait, no. I have the shotgun, but I don't have shells. Damn it. Oh, well. Guess I'll use the other stim pack. Use both stim packs. Brings me up to full-ish health, and we'll... Just punch her once. Don't want to do anything too fancy. Don't want to knock her back and slide her away, because that dude with the hammer, he hurts. He hurts a lot. Come on, you bitch. I don't know what I said to you that pissed him off. Got the entire town angry. Vic, you're really bad with a knife. You should have just said that you're really shit with a knife. Oh, great. She ran away. Ow. Hit for six. This dude hurts so much. Might need to see if I can kite him. Move up. Punch him once. I uh, don't want to corner myself, though. There. Ow. And then I think I can run around him. Vic, you son of a bitch. Blocking the door. Severely wounded. Okay, he doesn't have too much health. Might be able to kill him next turn. Oh, thank God he missed. Ow, that second one didn't miss, though. As long as I don't, like, stay down when he hits me, I think we'll be okay. Vic is still blocking the door. Thanks, Vic. Oh, come on. There we go. He's running now. We're all right, and Vic is probably going to die here. I'm kind of okay with that, though. Very quickly not caring about him. His pathing is super awkward. Ah, uh, there we go. Sue looks dead. Yes, run away from the door. I'll handle this guy. Punch him in the leg. Hit him for three. Not very good. Thankfully, he is only unarmed, so he's not too horrible to fight. I'm hoping I'll fare a little better than Vic did. Not doing much damage, though, because he is armored. So am I. So this is just going to be a big old slugfest in the doorway here. There we go. He's down. And we got this chick left. Her. Ah, she's dead. Medic, you have healing powder. You can use it. It's okay. And combat. All right. Well, that didn't go well. Hey, look, free armor and knife and bullet and all sorts of stuff. God, maybe this was in my best interest to do that. Jeez. I'll take his absolutely nothing. He had boots and stuff. You're in the way again. I'll take your sledgehammer and leather armor. And nobody hiding over here. This tiny little desk. Anything on here? Yes. No. No. Okay. Well, we got one of these. And a nice sledgehammer. I, 
can't use the sledge. But Vic might be able to. No, it's a melee weapon. Never mind. Got me good. You got to get to me, dude. Doctor, I don't know if I can back you up anymore. Okay, that's it. Well, heal yourself. We're not doing so hot. What can I... Okay, fine. Give me your healing powders. And I'll just load you up on healing powder. We'll be fine. I kind of assumed he would automatically use healing powder as if it was a... Uh, like a stim pack or something. Could give him co um, combat armor. Wait, leather armor? That's not leather armor, bro. That's combat armor. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, trade. And then talk. That's it for now. No, you know what? We're leaving town anyway. We're, we're getting out of here. Um, Pretty sure we're considered vilified now. So let's head to... Oh, Vault City's on our map. Uh, we could start heading toward Vault City. Uh, I'm not sure if we're ready for it yet, though, to be honest. We'll see, though. We'll at least visit. We'll see what we got going on. During our travels there, we should heal up and all that. I'm pretty close to leveling, but with all of that combo, holy shit, with all that combat, old man, you will come with us. I feel very nauseous. Oh, great. I'm probably radiated. Leave us alone. I'll never support the cause of your superiors. I'll not ask you again. Come now or you will be an example of. I would rather I would rather what knowledge I have to spare with me to the grave so be a kill them all. And they just got annihilated. This is none of your affair. Turn around and walk away. Okay. Dude is huge. Can't move or anything like that. Seem to find some people in the wrong place at the wrong time. Can I do anything? There we go. And they're gone. Remains of farmer. Just the farmer. Yeah, there's him. There's... About the kid. Dead kid. Dead child. Not many games you see a child get massacred. Let alone with a fucking minigun. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. I want us to check this radiation. We are radiated. We got radiated on our way out of the uh, thing. Lost two radiation level. I was barely radiated. Ugh, I feel like that was a waste. So much stuff wasted so far. Wasted money. Bring the slave guy. I wasted it twice. Wasted gecko pelts. Wasted a rat away. What the hell's going on here? A group of mole rats hanging out and... Well, Bob's Iguana Bits. I'm familiar with that one from the last game. Maybe shot in the eyes, got him dead. Let's go for a standard punch on this one. Missed. 95% chance that I missed. Vic runs up. It's a greater mole rat. Oh, Vic. No, don't die, Vic. I think Vic will be okay. You animal. Yes, yes, it is an animal. Good job, Vic. Let's see if I can kill him. Unarmed is not the way to go. I gotta find New Reno, because I think New Reno's got the boxing thing, and I can go there and kick ass. Jesus, get the weighted boxing glove, I think it is. Annihilate people. There we go, that's dead. I just got this one picking on Vic. I'll just go for the eyes, see if I can critically hit it. Oh, nope, it's on me now. Oh my god, Vic actually crit for 14, knocked it down. It's down, go for the eyes, now's the chance. Hit it for 8, and quickly hit it for 21. <sighs> oh, I leveled. Oh, I think Vic leveled too. Uh, no perk, that's next level. Every 3. Karma, still negative 111. Um... Antipathy at Klamath, just another out-of-towner in the area, probably up to no good. They don't really care that I just slaughtered a bunch of people in that town. Hmm. Oh well, moving on. A little bit more unarmed skill. Speech is kind of sort of decent, we'll put a little more into it, get that up. Can we get it to 100? We can, we get it to exactly 100. Nice. Although it does go a little higher, but I think it starts to cost 2. 
points per upgrade after 100. Bob's Gondos Grand has some knives and jet in it. Can I loot the other side? Is there another side? No. Okay, how about inside this tent? Nothing. A nice rock arrow pointing. So weird. Such an odd place. Everything's pointing to this skull pile. Very strange. Oh, wait. I can loot that? The throwing knives. Not sure if that's worth it or not. But hey, any loot off a random encounter is kind of worthwhile. It's like just free stuff. Got some free experience. Got to love a lot of it. Some throwing knives to sell. The jet. That's always good. Jet sold. That arrow's pointing up. Ah. That's probably what they're pointing at. Healing powder, some booze, nothing else, and then this. Some trash, trash, some pot in the middle of all the shrubbery, two spike knuckles. Hey, that would have been useful a while ago. Not very useful for me now, though, unfortunately. Continuing on to Vault City, wherever it is, it's way out there, I'm thinking. Goodness knows what we'll find along the way. I'm expecting another random encounter here pretty soon. Yep, there it is. Don't make this hard on yourself. I see some highwayman. That one uses some jet. It's also got a really big looking gun. That one's got a shotgun. Definitely want to stand on this side of her. Critically hit for 12. Cause serious pain. We'll just end the turn. Sequence might come into play. He used some jet and is running up on us. Please don't shoot me. Yes, focus on him. Ow. Sequence not working. I think it's that jet. I might need to run. This is this is not going to go well. Unless this highwayman's almost dead. Do they have much health? They got plenty of health. Who am I kidding? Let's just run. Fuck it. Get out of here. Keep running. Yes, pick on Vic, not me. But don't kill Vic, because he's got a lot of stuff that I might want someday. Go. We're free. Fuck that place. Jeez. Melee. It's very difficult to play as Melee. Very difficult to play as melee. Oh, God, you kidding me? These highwaymen again? Jesus. They're just robbers now. They got... They, like, all have guns, though. No, screw that. We're running again. Maybe I should do some slafer runs, get some experience. I feel like Vic's gonna die. He's probably gonna die. He's getting hurt a lot. Yep, we're good. Ugh, another one. More of them. A cave, though. No, don't run toward them, Vic. Okay. 19, Jesus. Yep, Vic's dead. Critically hit for 18, blew through his armor. That chick's got a really strong shotgun, and we're just running. Just run. Okay, and stop. I don't want to actually stop, stop like that. Just want to stop. Where is Vault City? Way over there. And there's another town right next to it. We could keep going or we could turn back to the den and try to do more slave runs and get some experience. How close are we to leveling? Not very. Maybe we should just keep going to uh, to Vault City. Mm, let's keep going to Vault City. We don't like these mountains, though. Those robbers and highwaymen are really tough. Oh, to be fair, they're probably not that tough. If you have a gun and you know how to use it, you can just aim for the eyes and crit them for like 30 damage. Ooh, a little pit stop in the way. Let's see what this is. Small 
quaint farming community surrounded by vast fields of dead or dying crops. So it's not a very successful farming community. Pop into the general store. Are they still open? I kind of doubt it. It's really late. Hello? There's a dude here. Hello? Closed indefinitely due to the trot. Well, I want to barter anyway. See, you're not you're not that close. You got explosives though. Jesus. Uh well. What can you tell me about this? Oh my gosh. Uh welcome to Maddock. My name's Ja, and I run this here trading post. We don't have much, just a few farms, a slaughterhouse, Rose's bed and breakfast, and a tannery. Just enough to produce goods to trade, although that could all change with this draught. What's a big white building in the middle of town? Oh, that's a town church. People of Modoc built it to show their faith. Lately, there hasn't been much to be thankful for, so nobody attends the sermons anymore. Hmm. They're having a really hard time here. Looking for a certain item and was wondering if you might be able to help me locate it. Looking for the holy geck. Just happy to know where it is. Guess we have some business to discuss after all. Really? Just tell me where I can find it. I'll be on the way. Only business is you tell it where it is before something bad happens. What do you want for this information? Haven't noticed yet. Our farming committee is experiencing one of its worst droughts ever. The rainy season is unusually short this year and our crops are dead or dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible as making it rain. You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyway, like I was saying, we're in trouble and we could use your help. Yeah, 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 I'm listening. Farm at the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back, it just appeared out of nowhere. Saying it sprung up overnight. Yeah, right. A group of us were hunting when we noticed when we noticed the new farm. But that wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor, only to discover that there wasn't anybody there. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built. So instead of letting the crops rot in the fields, young Carl moved in. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. Of course we went to find him. We went up there as soon as we suspected something was wrong. He starts to tremble violently. The horror. Bodies strewn everywhere. Some crucified, while others were left to rot out in the sun. I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible image I, I saw that day. So you want me to go to the farm and find out what happened? Normally, I would just leave that cursed place be, but for some reason, the crops of this farm are still flourishing, despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get? In return for helping us, I can help you find what you seek. All right. Okay, then let's seal the deal. Cut off your right pinky finger, or then it's a deal. Show me where the ghost farm is. Let's go with that one. I'm not sadistic. I'm just a uh, little evil. I guess I do what people want me to do for money. Let's put it that way. So that'd be what lawful evil, maybe. I don't know. I have my own, my own morals, my own values. If the price is right, I'll do it. I think that's lawful evil. We'll go with that. Farm is about a day's travel northeast of here. Pulls out a map and points to the spot northeast of Modoc. Come back when you found something. Okay. Okie dokie. I can do it. Uh, it's nighttime now. It would be nice to see if there's anything I can actually buy here. Or anything the church or are you just a dude some townsperson they found some idiot to go investigate the ghost farm oh geez really some idiot to find the what's going on there yeah geez god who would they find to do that <clears throat> couldn't possibly be me it's a bed and breakfast what's this wait no that's a tannery this is the bed and breakfast then baltha's wife sob right okay well then Doesn't look like there's anything lying on the ground, just some goo. Ugh. And dog. All right, well, let's head to this farm then. Oh, wait, what's... Oh, there's more town here. I just want to go to the, uh, 
place. What's this? Uh, an old man. He makes a prune look fresh. Oh god, he's really old then. I didn't steal the watch to so stop coming here and harassing poor old Farrell. Watch, what are you talking about? Everybody is accusing me of stealing my best friend Cornelius's gold pocket watch. Me and Cornelius have been friends as long as I can remember. I would never take his watch. I searched everywhere hoping to find it so we can be friends again, but I've had no such luck. Hmm. That's too bad. Alright, well, okay. If I see a watch, I'll, uh, if I can do anything. Why the door closed behind me? Come on. Damn doors. All right, let's get out of town if I can. Where is out? Jesus. Up more? No, to the, no, not right. That's my problem with this game is there's no, like, exit on every boundary. There's only one exit. Sometimes two. What the hell is this? Jesus. Okay, well, that's closed shut. And this is a dead end. a shovel on the ground I already have a shovel I want out trader town is dying trader not trading okay so we'll just go back the way we came then fine we'll go through the front exit I was hoping maybe there'd be a back door or something out of here but I guess not pot can't loot that pot what is this slaughterhouse that's not go According to the tag on his collar, his name is Bess. Moo. Poor Brown is injured. Put it out of its misery. First aid, doctor. We can try first aid or doctor. Three, four, five. Five for first aid. Try to use first aid on it. I do have a med kit thing, but won't help his broken leg. Okay, we'll try doctor then. Hill to heal it. Bell to heal it. Fail to heal it. Fail to heal it. It ain't happening. Okay, moving on. Can't do everything with just one playthrough. That's kind of why I like these games, though, is you can't do everything with one playthrough. Like, you can you can do a lot, but not quite everything. You know, maybe you went the good route and you couldn't do the, the slaver thing, so you'd start over with an evil route and do different things and become a slaver and... Got a lot of replay value by that regard. And is this technically... I think this is night. Head into... Whoops, this ghost farm. Waste a little more time. And now it's daytime, but holy shit, you weren't kidding. Let's wait until nighttime. Until midnight. There we go. Jesus criminy.